hi all welcome back to my channel so in this session we are going to learn uh, what is the difference between multicast transformation and conditional split transformation and how we can use all this tra uh, this board transformation okay mostly it is being asked uh, a question that the difference between what is the difference between multicast and uh, split transformation so before uh, getting into the differences first uh, understand uh, the multicast transformation and then we will understand the uh, conditional split transformation so as we say the multicast as the name suggests that it is the casting of the same data okay let's say in the bollywood you, you have seen some pictures right so the uh, same character will be uh, played the different roles okay so it's a, the character is the same but the uh, role will be played by the different uh, uh, by the same character and the different roles so similarly multicast transformation creates a logical copy of the same data okay it creates a logical copy of you can say create logical logical copies of input data source so suppose if your input data source is a flat file and you have five records in the flat file and you wanted uh, you want the logical copies of this uh, data okay uh, this flat file uh, and you wanted to uh, uh, you know dump into the different uh, destination then you can create a multicast now the question arises why we need it okay why why do we need the logical copies so uh, usually it is not required very much but sometimes there is a requirement like uh, if we suppose uh, think of an organization where we have employee data stored in some table okay now the employee data uh, they, there is a support team that needs the data of those employees to do some troubleshooting or do some uh, thing on the data okay or analyze the data and then we we have a business stakeholders of that company that they also wanted to see the data of the employee so what we have a different different uh, destinations okay different uh, uh, consumers of the same data so in that case we can create a logical copy of the the same data okay so let's say uh, uh, in the sql server if uh, if you see i have created i have one table employee data in this data i have this id first name last name and city and i have 10 rows here suppose i have a requirement that support team needs this data okay and the business stakeholder also needs this data so i have two consumers which wanted to consume the same data so what i'm going to do these two tables is still i i I have created this uh, table structure but we do not have any record here so with the help of multicast we will uh, you know create a, two copies of the same data and dump into these two tables okay so let's get started go here so for that let's uh, double click on the data flow task double click here and uh, we'll come to the data flow here data flow pane and in which uh, this file the employee data file i have in the source file folder uh, this is a comma separated uh, file let's see i have this um, uh, three records okay or or uh, uh, no this is the source source file is employee data sorry so this the employee data is stored in oledb okay that is um, that is my source that uh, okay so for that go to the source category and the data is in table oledb source and we use and the destination also the the source uh, support team and the business to stakeholder those two tables also in the OLED, in the sql server so let's take the oledb destination here okay two destinations here sources here and we wanted the two copies of the same table for that we needed uh, the multicast so let's uh, search for the multicast here okay go to the common uh, location common uh, and here yes we have this multicast let's drag and drop here okay so all the task is available now let's get started configuring each of this one by one so sample db is already there configured so on which table we wanted to read the data this table is employee data so i already have this much of records here click on close go to columns everything is fine here click on ok let's connect the source with the multicast here so what multicast will do there is nothing to do it here we just need to create connect the multicast so what it will do it will create a, uh, multiple copies okay now go to the destination and uh, the same database uh, we have now search for the uh, business stakeholders support team 
okay we existing we do not have any record here go to mapping columns and all the columns is automatically get get mapped because uh, the table structure is completely same so there is no need to check the data type okay all the data type is correct only then go to the uh, second destination and second table is business stakeholder okay there is no data in this table go to mappings uh, this is automatically mapped click on ok so let's see let execute this package and you will see that this it will multicast will create a multiple copies so it is not like only two copies if you want you can create a uh, more than two copies as well through with the help of multicaster transformation see the 10 rows from the source will be uh, distributed to the multiple destinations so let's go to the destination here and check first check the support team so I got the same data what I have in the source table then go to check the business stakeholder table here also I got the same data so it distributes the data okay it distributes the uh, data with uh, uh, the multiple copies okay there is no filter here if you see there is no condition there is no filter it will dump the data exactly what we have in the source to the destination so this is uh, the multicast this is the functionality of multicast transformation now let's talk about the conditional split transformation it it distributes the data okay but it distributes the same copies of the data to the different destination okay this multicast but when we talk about the conditional split so conditional splits is also going to distribute the data to the different destination but then it depends on the particular destination uh, depend on the condition so if condition fulfilled then it will go to the first path if certain condition is fulfilled then it will go to the second path so uh, okay so let me create a new package and rename it as a conditional split because uh, okay so this is there so it is also going to distribute the data but based on the some condition so let me go ahead and drag data flow task so i'll tell you the scenario what 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 scenario we are going to check so in my database in sample db i have two tables permanent customer and contract customer okay i have one file flat file where i have a details of the customers and i have one column uh, customer type so let me show the show you that uh, file as well i have this customer details file if you can see here so this is my file let me okay so customer id first name last middle name last name address state pin code customer type salary joining date so all these columns are there and we have a country column i guess uh, yes we have a country column as well so this this is the customer type if you see the customer type of the first customer is permanent second customer is permanent third customer is permanent but fourth and fifth is contract okay now i wanted to distribute this data to different destination uh, to different destination table so i have permanent customer table and contract table customer depending on the condition that if the customer is permanent okay from that file uh, flat file source then that particular customer will be uh, flowed into this table if the customer type is contract then only the contract customer will be flowed to this table okay so this is the condition we wanted to uh, apply while distributing the data from source to destination so for this requirement we need to use the conditional split transformation so if you have worked on the c sharp or if you have a uh, developer you can simply correlate it with the if else condition if this condition match then this uh, certain line of code will be executed if this condition will match this certain line of code will be executed similarly in conditional split will be so let's drag because a source is flat file if you see the source is text document here customer detail so source uh, let me go to the source first and let me drag this flat file source and in this what table we are going to distribute in oledb destination two tables okay and with the help of conditional split so conditional split will be available in common category mm, merge join multicast conditional split okay here we have a conditional split so let me configure each of the task one by one so let me uh, locate this file click on new and create a collection string click on browse and locate this file this file is available here okay customer detail go to columns here all the records is available if you see middle name is blank here so in that case you can uh, you, you can tick uh, 
click on uh, you can take this retain null value from the source as the null values in the data flow okay click on column here go to all the columns is mapped correctly click on okay so source file is now uh, configured now connect the residence constraint from source to destination uh, to conditional spread now in conditional spread if you open here this is very uh, uh, just relax and see the editor first and try to understand so what uh, this is uh, this is give you a flexibility to change or to apply the conditions on the particular columns so if you see if you have a variables you can apply the uh, variables also apply the conditions on the variables so these are the system variables if you have defined any user defined variables so that you can make use of those variables as well then you have a column okay these are the list of the columns i wanted to apply a condition on customer customer type okay so let me give here uh, the condition let me give the name here like permanent so my output name would be permanent customer and the condition is if customer type equal to permanent okay then this is the first order second is contract so this is if condition and this is like another if condition so drag the customer type and if the customer type value of the customer type is contract okay then then the order second then the output name would be contract go here and open this customer detail and match the spelling of your uh, uh this field otherwise it will give an error if it is not so it is always advisable to if you have any uh, constant value to be checked so better you can take it from the feed files okay uh, uh, from your source file okay so click here contract save here so what will happen two output uh, will be created so if this condition will match this path output name is this path okay so this path will be followed and if this contract uh, will be satisfied then this path will be followed and if any if uh, any data is there which is not uh, neither a permanent nor a contract then it will follow the default output so click on okay here and one more thing here there are a lot of math mathematical strings date time every functions are here so these functions we you will use to modify your existing column okay depending upon your requirements so let's drag connect your now it is asking to which output you wanted to connect so I'll, I'll say permanent customer will go to this destination and i would like to flow the contract customers to this destination okay so let me configure this uh, destination so permanent i wanted the permanent uh, customers to be inserted into permanent customer table this this time the data is blank here so no data so all the columns are uh, here okay uh, uh, here is one more thing let me connect this first name with the full name that is fine I'm getting one error. See, F name and full name cannot be converted between the Unicode and non Unicode string time. So there is a uh, problem of a data type. Okay. And uh, so what we can do uh, instead of here, what we can do, we can uh, create a data conversion here. Okay. So what we can do here, we can create a data conversion. And similarly, the same thing will happen here. So let's delete this. Okay. Let's. Uh, and go to mapping and see what is expected okay full name is of uh, unique word string okay so this is expected so what we what we are going to do so go to permanent and data conversion here open the uh, this and click on first name and change it is unicode this is fine okay now you, what you need to do you need to map this first name f name with the full name now the full name is unicode and f name is also uh, unicode it should be a unicode copy of first name okay sorry copy of m f name it is now unicode mm, okay if i mouse over to the f name it is now unicode so this is fine red icon has been gone so similarly you need to drag the data conversion here also because this two columns are of different data types so that is why we needed to do this 
otherwise it is not required if the column is fine now i wanted the contract customer to flow into this path okay and if the data is there here the first name i needed to change to the unicode string okay this is also the output name is copy of f name so i need to map instead of f name i need to map with a copy of f name so go to the mapping here okay I'll, i need to select the table here so this is contract customer data we existing there is no data available go to mapping so instead of f name what i need to do i need to map the f name copy of f name column because this is what is been converted by data conversion transformation so see there is no error left out here now i'm going to execute this package so depending on the condition if the customer is permanent the data will be fo flow to permanent uh, table and if the uh, the customer is contract then the data will be flow to contract table so if you see total we have five rows three of the customers will flow to permanent table and two of the contract customers will flow to contract table so let's go to the sql server and let's execute this two table and let's see the result yes three records will be inserted into permanent table if you see the customer type this is permanent and for contract we have two records here which is of contract type so basically uh, as you have seen so multicast is something that you create a same copies of the data it distributes the same copies of the data to the different destinations okay and conditional split is it distributes the data but it splits the data as well uh, on the basis of uh, conditions okay on the basis of particular condition so i hope you guys like the video and your concept is uh, now clear uh, if someone asks between uh, the difference between multicast and conditional split so i hope you will be able to answer it very nicely okay uh, thank you and have a nice day